know, aspiring college graduates that are going yeah. into uh, into a job. Now we hear millennials like to bounce around and they don't, you know. But here we have a uh, here we have a story of a college intern who went on to become CEO, which is pretty yeah. remarkable. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Well, I it, it honestly probably goes back to my father and my grandfather. Um, you know, my grandfather after World War II worked for a manufacturer's hand of a trust for 40 years. That was it. Uh, my father worked for the U.S. Postal Service for 38 years. That was it. So I was always brought up, if you're willing to roll up your sleeves and work hard and be committed, you could do great things. So even though there were opportunities to maybe move and get into some other things, I never felt as though um, I was dissatisfied. And, you know, you can always look at the grass as greener someplace else or, you know, if I continue to make moves, it's a way to kind of get myself up the ladder. If I jump around a little bit, to me, um, so much more of your character is displayed by commitment and dedication. And I always felt as though as long as H2M felt right to me, that I would continue to do everything I could to be successful, not only for myself, but for the company. And that's really the reason why I've been there for 30 years. Yeah, and it's, it's great. So, I mean, a lot of times in, uh, in corporate America, you know, they'll say people can rise by playing it safe and just sort of maneuvering through uh, bureaucracy, right? But you and I serve on uh, some boards together and we have some outside experiences together. And I see you as somebody, and one thing I truly admire about you is I see you as somebody who's willing to speak his mind, willing to take a risk, willing to to say uh, when everybody else is sitting quiet around the table and you're not sure yeah. what their response is, willing to be able to do that. And I truly, you know, admire that. So, so you know, what part of risk taking has it been in your, in your career at this point? Uh, I, I, Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate that because uh, to me, if we are who we are and you need to be able to express opinion and, and take risk, uh, I, I believe that our company has been, um, you know, through a very strong growth uh, period because of a little bit of risk we've been taking. Yeah. Uh, for a company that's been around for, for 85 years, uh, as a, you know, and even in the engineering field, you know, engineers are typically very conservative. We want to make sure that yeah. if there are 10 boxes to check, we check all 10 boxes before we go ahead and make decisions. Um, and I've decided that, uh, you know, some appropriate risk is, is necessary if you really want to grow. And um, there are challenges and there are failures. And if you're afraid to fail, you won't take risk. And I'm not afraid to fail. I'm not afraid to uh, make mistakes. I'll learn when I do. Uh, but to me, those are the reasons why you can really drive your business and your own personal success if you're willing to take some risk.